Welcome back to Dr. Thinking Shine's Neighborhood. And this is your premier channel for parents, teachers, students, coaches, those who want the best for our young people. It's the channel where we integrate hot topics and faith, reality television and faith, current events and faith, faith-based low-tech. Thanks for joining us. I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll know every time we upload a new video. I'd rather read, I'd rather be a nerd. I feel like Zuckerberg, I feel like Zuckerberg. Hey. If you or someone in your household is celebrating a birthday, happy, happy birthday from Dr. Think and Shine and friends. Today we're gonna take a look at Maurice Tenacious Scott and his advice. Wow. This is now this this is the star of the show. This is good TV, Maurice. We're gonna take a look. The governor's goggles, there's no judgment. We're just looking and learning, just making observations. But let's look. First, I want to say congratulations on your new office. Even though Kimmy, who complains about everything now that they're married, is complaining about the budget. Complaining about this and that. Oh, in her high-pitched voice, Paul Maurice, bless her Jesus. I think the office is great. Congratulations. I like the 3D wall covering. I like the brass letters. I don't know exactly what SI stands for. I'm sure Scott and then I. Scott Industries, maybe. Okay. It's beautiful. Uh, Kimmy's like, I don't care if it doesn't fit the budget. You just write a check, babe. Have mercy, Jesus. I think he should have. Anyway, rethought that. Maurice said, it still looks better than Marceau's office. Kim said, there is nothing in life we need to compete for. She sounds like she's talking to her son, not her husband. Bless Jesus. Uh, Maurice said, I told you about Scott Manor, the idea of us being on the land. Kimmy said, you told me, and what did I tell you? And like I said, it's a different Kimmy than before the wedding. I made it very clear. I said, I'm not participating because the things that you like and the things that I feel aren't necessary are very different, and I don't need that to be a source of contention. I just need a space to live in. I just prefer it's not in the middle of our family. Maurice said, Why? Kimmy said, I just don't need to be that close. I enjoy my alone time. I enjoy our privacy. Maurice. And see, this is some, these are, when you do premarital counseling, these are some premarital conversations. When people say people are unequally yoked, it doesn't mean you're saved and he's not. Values, too. Lifestyle. Two years down the road. Five years down the road. Parenting plans. Goals for parenting. I just don't need to be that close. I enjoy my long time. Uh, I, okay. Then Maurice said, but at Scott Manor, there's more than enough land. You can build one here, another an acre away. You have a lot of space. Kimmy said, sounds like Tisha when she came by the house. Bless them, Lord. They had a beautiful wedding on the yacht. But sometimes it seems like they're unequally yoked regarding values, like Jalen's path, whether he should do his odd jobs or whether he should just go feet first in entrepreneurship. Decorating the office. The budget. Scott Manor and the role of the extended family in their future. See, Kimmy's whine, Kimmy whines and then Maurice seems so reasonable. As I say, I wonder if they had premarital counseling. Well, it's not too late. Maurice organized and served as a keynote speaker at the Black Business Town Hall meeting, which I thought was fantastic. Thank you for your leadership, Maurice. He says, I came up with the idea of the Black Business Town Hall meeting because there are a lot of very, very brilliant individuals that believe in, an, in the American dream, but because they are African American, they've had it harder. I want to bring in successful people that have navigated these different challenges to share some of their stories with the next generation. Excellent. He said, people are putting their lives on, on the line to march during a pandemic. You know, with the George Floyd Black Lives Matter. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Black lives do matter. Mar Maurice said, uh, America was founded on a contract. 
that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men were created equal. At the time of the writing of the, these words were untrue. It would take another 89 years before slavery was ended. And since then, it has been 155 years of recovery to see the reckoning of those words ring true because the words have rung hollow for so long. Despite those facts, you all have become successful. This is like his opening speech at the town hall, the black town. He said, I think black lives matter. Yes, they do. I love the fact that the movement has started, that this movement is gaining ears. I've been contributing in my own way. Maurice says, my fight is economic. And in the P-15 passbook, America's Passport for Unity, there's an appendix there that says what America needs to do for black people. And then there's a larger appendix that says what black people need to do for our own black selves. Maurice is saying his role is economic. The P-15 passbook, America's Passport for Unity. He said his role is economic. Someone else may have a different role, but every part of the body has a function. Yes, everyone has a role to play. So he said this will be a group discussion at the Black Town Hall meeting. I'll raise a question, and he said we're amongst family, and it was outside, social distancing, some masks. First question was about economic justice. We're so far behind, how do we catch up, and where do we go from here? And I can just say that many companies were established before we even had the right to vote. If you look at companies like Reynolds Wrap, well, blacks can't come and create foil. Well, the foil was already created before we could even vote. Ford Motor Company, well, we might buy cars and have car notes, but we haven't built a car. So we would just come, many companies were established before we could even vote. Then JB said, I was 40 before I got it. We got to teach people what to do. Keep your credit straight and keep relationships with the bank. And that's true. There's some states in the South where you can't even hardly get a bank account. It's hard for a black to even get a bank account today. Marceau said black Americans built America. If we can build up our communities and level the playing field, then we can challenge the world. I thought it was awesome energy at the town hall meeting. People pushing each other. You know, just the opposite of the Willie Lynch thing. That's really great. Larry and Kim said it's not always about money. Sometimes it's how you structure the deal. We're not even at the table to understand how these things work. Maurice said, we can put this together for Huntsville and work on it and take this model out to the world like a microcosm. He has such enthusiasm. I remember when I was the president of the black students at Harvard Divinity School, Harambe is the name of the black students. And Harambe is a Swahili word, which means we pull together. Because if they were doing some work, Harambe, Harambe. When I was president of Harambe, we, sent a de we went to, we started Hope Development Corporation, which was to help with poverty in Tunica, Mississippi, at the time the poorest county in the nation. And we were hoping our work in Tunica would be a microcosm that we could repeat in other, in all of the Tunicas of the world. So I just appreciate Maurice's tenacity and his vision and his enthusiasm and his energy uh, reminds me of little judy i'm gonna have to call maurice he reminds me of harambe uh it also he said i don't maurice said, i don't want an event i want to change things he also reminds me of jeff howard from the efficacy institute at harvard who had a formula simple formula effort or hard work plus confidence equals success okay so Maurice has the confidence. He's putting in the work and getting his colleagues to put in the work. They'll be successful, and I believe it, and I'm going to follow it, and I hope you will too. If you're not watching uh, this show on OWN, please start, put it on your DVR, Love and Marriage Huntsville, and just fast forward past all the drama and eat the fish and leave the bones. Kimmy encouraged Maurice and said, most of us don't get these lessons until we're older. I think our children do what they see. So that's true. Just keep your eye on the prize. Mm -hmm. And Kimmy, keep encouraging him. You encourage each other. At, um, at the t I noticed one thing at the time, this whole sexism vibe through this show. At the town hall meeting, all the men who spoke were on mic. The women who spoke it was just like a, a B-roll. You couldn't hear their voices. But most homes, churches, and civil rights groups 
in in the black community historically and today are headed by men and run by women so give them a voice don't just put them on the b-roll next time you have something important like this i love the way maurice this is another section this maurice is this hero of this show for me right now i love the way he's teaching Jalen about entrepreneurship and i and i think it's something we can all learn from this um he's teaching him by precept and example i'm looking for monroe on a mission I think it fell. Yeah. I love the way Maurice is teaching Jalen about entrepreneurship by precept and example, the way he actively listens. And he and Kimmy need to get on the same page and, 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 and put a plan in place. They need to be equally low, yoked. It reminds me of when our son Legend was in high school and one family member was like, well, he needs to work at Hardy's. Nothing wrong with working at Hardy's. I worked at McDonald's. I have a burn on my arm from the french fry thing now. Um, nothing wrong with that. But you have to think about Hardy's versus an internship. Yeah, you might get the money here, but look at the experience. It Hardy's versus shadowing someone. And if you look at uh, from the Dr. Think and Shine series, there are two books, Monroe on a Mission, and it talks about setting kids up, you know, at a young age, getting them prepared. Monroe on a Mission and Monroe goes to Harvard. And whether they go to Harvard, Hampton Community College, to have a plan in place. But let me just go on with this. Uh, these excellent conversations that all parents can learn from this discourse that, that Maurice had with Jalen. So... Maurice said, I think it's time for Jalen to understand that it's time for him to start making real moves. He's getting older. He's finished up college. All the ideas he has now is the starting point. He needs to clear out whatever's in the way and get started. And he asked Jalen, what are you planning? And it's nice that he cares. It's, he asks, asks his stepson, what are you planning? It's nice that he cares. It's nice that he asks. And it's even nicer that he actively listens. Jalen said, hopefully me and my mom are going to get the ball rolling on this real estate and flipping houses together. And no judgment on Jalen. We're all learning. It's, you're very brave for being on television. Me and my mom will get the ball rolling on this real estate and flipping houses together. Maurice said, so your plan moving forward. So what are you doing right now? Jalen said, making ends meet because I need some money right now. And see, we have to think about short-term, immediate gratification versus long-term building. Maurice says, that's the problem because he's looking at the big picture. Jalen's looking at the short-term, the small picture, immediate gratification, instant gratification. Maurice is looking at the big picture. Jalen said, how is that a problem? See, this is what I talk about being unequally yoked. This is some stuff they should have discussed in premarital counseling. You know, like, should Monster come live with us? How are we going to do that? Uh, should, how much, should, I want the office to be great. I'm going to spend unlimited amount of money. I want Jalen to do such a, these are things you can discuss in counseling. Because when Jalen said, how is that a problem? It's like, so strange and it's not a right way or a wrong way it's just being on the same page Maurice said what specifically do you want to do in real estate Jalen said I want to learn all the ins and outs before I pick what I want to do and that reminds me plan ahead Fred plan ahead Fred that's one of the books in the Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School series he said I want to learn all the ins and outs so Maurice said what types of projects have you been working on in your off time Jalen said, zero, goose eggs. Maurice said, have you invested in any real estate tax liens? No. He said, when I graduated from college, I had the money from my last refund check, and I wanted to do the same thing that you say you want to do. Maurice said, I bought my first home for $1,000. And see, Maurice is showing him and telling him. It's show and tell. Maurice said, you, you got out of school with zero debt. You're in an enviable position. He said President Obama had student loans when he was in office. I remember Obama tell, President Obama telling Oprah Winfrey that he just paid off his student loans when he wrote his first book. He was already a senator. 
So it's true. And Maurice said, Kimmy did Jalen a great service paying for his college. However, he needs to understand opportunity knocks on doors. He hasn't figured out that door yet. And it's okay. It's, it, you know, you just do keep doing something until you get there. You don't have everything etched in stone. I didn't know, oh, I'm going to be a writer or an author. I just became one. I didn't say when I was little, I'm going to be an author. I'm going to be a minister. I didn't know. It just happened. So he can't always, I mean, you have to have a plan in place and be moving in a positive direction. But it's okay if you don't have it figured out yet, Jalen. It's great TV. Jalen doesn't have a door yet. This is what Maurice says. Jalen doesn't have a door yet, and we need to figure it out. See, that's good parenting. Even grown-ups, Jalen's 21, even grown-ups need a parent. He said, we need to figure it out, build that door, and get started answering when opportunity knocks. Jalen said, I was talking about working with Marceau. Marceau's extremely busy. He's busy, but, I mean, he's busy, but I couldn't get any help. Marie said, what if you just hung around Marceau? And that's true. Volunteer. Shadow. One of my friends was a lawyer. I, I shadowed her in her office. I helped her hang the sheetrock, helped her make the sign in front of her office, answer the phone, wrote checks. I wanted to shadow her to see if I wanted to do what lawyers do. Then when I saw all the research, I thought I was just going to be making eloquent courtroom speeches. But when I actually shadowed a lawyer and saw what lawyers do, I didn't really want to do that. Um, but yeah, intern, volunteer, shadow, it's not all about money and getting a paycheck. Long term versus short term. Are you trying to pay a cell phone bill today? Or are you trying to have a career forever? See, those are values. That's what we mean, unequally yoked. Get on the same yoke. Get on the same page. Marceau said, hang around, I mean, Maurice said, hang around Marceau and ask questions and see what's going on. Jalen said, you make it sound so easy because you've done it. You make it sound like walk outside and become an entrepreneur. He's showing you and he's telling you. It is and all your needs are met. You, this is the perfect time. Maurice said, Jalen, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. I bet on myself. Right now, you're passing time. You're too smart for that. Listen, Jalen. Listen, all young people. Don't give excuses. Listen to this. Listen, Jalen. Listen to Maurice. Jalen said, with this pandemic, he's giving excuses. With this pandemic going on, nobody in my field is hiring. So with a nine-to-five job, you can have sustainability of knowing you're getting a, a paycheck. Maurice is telling him to create opportunity while he has no bills, no wife, no babies, no student loan debt, no mortgage, etc. Maurice looks like he's seen a ghost. It has to do with values. Like I said, short term versus long term. Just do it. And, and, and let me just say... That was good. That was good. Yeah, I could watch that again and again and again. I wish every child could watch that. Every parent could watch that segment of Maurice talking to Jalen. And I hope Jalen will watch it over and over again because he'll get it. If Kimmy watches it again, she'll, kick, she'll get it. And being an entrepreneur is not for everyone. Okay. Let me say congratulations to Jalen on his bachelor's degree and to Maurice on his JD and on passing the bar. Congratulations. And Kimmy threw, him a nice, uh, threw them a nice graduation dinner. When Jalen was late to the graduation dinner, Maurice said Jalen would have been on time if he weren't working that odd job. Kimmy said, it's work before play. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Like she's trying to convince herself in the confessional. It's okay. No, it's not. Watch this again. Watch this episode again, please. Maurice said there are millions of people who were out of work during COVID. How many of those bosses got laid off? He said, that's why I push entrepreneurship, because you can be the master of your own fate. Jalen said, you're saying people can't be entrepreneurs while they have a job? Maurice said, I'm saying they can do both. You're doing one, the job. He's told Jalen, you have every opportunity in life to bet on you. When you don't have any debt, your time can be spent on things you desire. You're not getting kicked out. 
Food is there. You have electricity. You have everything you need to be successful. The only way to be successful is getting out there and being there. He said, all I'm saying is chase your heart, bro. That's what I want for you. Now, if you can't chase your heart, maybe we need to start talking about some rent. See, Jalen missed it. It just went over his head. So Jalen said, I plan on moving out soon anyway. <sighs> Maurice said, and what does that do? It creates debt. The same thing we're trying to eliminate. He puts his hands on his face in frustration. And as I said, perhaps Jalen and Kimmy will get it once they watch this episode a few times. This is good TV. Good TV. And if you go to my channel, Dr. Judy Online, YouTube channel, Dr. Judy Online, J-U-D-I Online, I have a whole series of tutorials on Write Your Book This Year. Free tutorials. You don't have to buy the book. Uh, because I think Maurice needs to put something like this in a book. And I do ghostwriting too. So let me know because everybody needs to hear this. Every parent and every young person who wants to be successful needs to hear this conversation, this discourse. Because with children, we have to create empathy, hone their consciences. So when you're honing their conscience, you teach them about long-term, short-term, what's good, what's right, how to do it. There's no instructions, but this is good. Good TV. The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace, power, and love. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a stinking thumbs down. I appreciate every subscription, every share, every like, and every comment. Follow me on social media, Dr. Think and Shine, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. God bless you.